This video is all about safety, about Volvo. Now, that's really the primary reason we're looking at a Volvo, in my opinion. The large, large majority of people that I talk to start to hear about some of these snippets of safety, and Jonathan, our Volvo expert, he's here today to talk about some of those vest and rollover protection, and Jonathan, go. Well, what we're looking at today is probably not a conversation everybody wants to have. It's about safety. It's about what happens in the worst case scenario, the what ifs. And unfortunately, it's not a happy conversation, but it's one that's very important to everybody because after all, you want to be there long term and you want to make it home at the end of the day. So a couple of things that are unique to Volvo are we build our cabs out of a high strength steel compound. And this is something that Mercedes and BMW and some of the higher end automotive manufacturers use. Mm -hmm. But in the trucking industry, it's a rarity. Most cabs are still made out of aluminum or regular riveted steel. And the high strength steel is very important because it will pass a lot of crash test ratings that most cabs will not pass. Um, the most difficult to pass, as far as I know in the world, is actually the European and Swedish crash test ratings, where they will actually cover rollover and heavy weights hitting from the different sides of the cab and just make sure there's no deformation inside the cab to protect the occupants. And that's where that high strength steel cab is incredibly important. Mm. In the event of a rollover on its side or a multiple roll, that cab structure will stay strong and keep you safe inside rather than flattening out like you may see in some other videos. Now I understand Volvo has that mandate of that driver door should open. Yes. Even in the nasty scenarios of rollovers. Yes, they spent a lot of money designing um, a door that would be able to be opened by emergency personnel because that's the biggest trouble. If you've got somebody who's in serious condition inside a truck and you need to get out the jaws of life or a saw, you could be wasting valuable minutes. And that's where they specially designed the enclosure to not crush and a special door handle that even under strain and different abilities would be able to open with hand pressure. And it sounds small, but that's a very vital thing when minutes count. Tell, can you talk to us about some of the engine accommodations yeah. that have been made? We're one of the few, if not the only manufacturer, who designed the engine to break away and drop underneath the cab. Now, in your vehicle, this has been a technology that's been available in some brands for a while, but in the trucking industry, this is not very common. And unfortunately, the engine is so large and so heavy that it's actually what causes a lot of the damage inside the cab and to the drivers. Um, when an accident happens because it's a large anchor that comes right through. So our engine and transmission are designed to break away, drop underneath the cab and off to the side to give you an additional crumple zone mm -hmm. and to give you additional protection. As well, if that were to happen, our standard airbag that's any Volvo you build, you're going to have an airbag in the steering wheel, will deploy. The I steering... think that the airbags are optional in other yes, many other yes. trucks. Yes, Volvo stands for safety okay. and that's where that's a standard feature we weren't willing mm -hmm. to compromise on. Um, once the airbag's deployed, the steering wheel is actually designed to kick up and out of the way so it doesn't come in and crush you. The steering shaft is designed to break away as well so it doesn't come in. And more importantly, once the engine and everything are out of the way, if that impact is violent enough that that crumple zone continues, there's an empty cavity behind where your legs go inside the driver area mm -hmm. that's hollow. There's no large metal chunks, there's no sharp objects behind it. Your legs will actually just crush through the, the dash and into a hollow area giving you the highest survivability possible. Well, we've talked about that uh, circumstance we hope never happens, yeah. but what kinds of things has Volvo done to the truck to make sure that it doesn't happen in the first place? Well, that's important because the safety aspect during an accident is one thing. How to avoid the accident, that's more important. And one of those is VEST, and that's something that's come standard on our trucks for a long time, and that stands for Volvo Enhanced Stability Technology. Mm -hmm. That's a combination of several systems that's designed to activate only when you're in an extreme situation. Everybody's familiar with traction control and that's one aspect of it. But more importantly, if you take a corner too fast, it's designed to cut the power, apply braking to certain wheels instead of all over and help you correct yourself going around that corner. <laughs> or more importantly, if you're making that beautiful trip from Vancouver to Calgary in the winter on those icy mountains and all of a sudden you lose control of the trailer or of the truck, it will help step in to right that swaying situation and correct it going down the road. Now, as a driver, I've got a little story to tell. I haven't told you about this. Nothing like surprising him no. on the, on the you know, <laughs> unscripted videos, right? Uh, I've spent a lot of time pulling my trailers, going through the Rocky Mountains, and there are some poorly designed corners. And I've had the Volvo Enhanced Stability Technology, or VEST, kick in. I had no idea. I was going into a corner where it was a dangerous scenario 
and all of a sudden the truck is doing things that I'm not intending it to do. It's going where I'm not pointing, sort of, and I realized after the fact, I was getting into a jackknife scenario, that my trailer was kicking the rear end of my RV hauler out, and it fixed it for me. It worked. That's, what, that's impressive. So, uh, what other things do we have built Well, in? to share a similar story, I actually had a customer coming in buying a new truck, and he was trading in his current Volvo with over a million kilometers, so 600,000 miles on it. And when I was talking to him about Vest, I told him about it, and he goes, oh, that's a great technology. I want my next truck to have that. And I stopped him, and I said, your current truck has that. Well, as a safe driver, you have to push this truck to the point where you're about to lose control for that system to actually kick in. He had never seen it engage hmm. because he had never gotten into that situation. What other safety systems do we have on there? So we also have about? a new system that's actually been out for several years, but it's becoming more broad and encompassing more options that we call the Volvo Active Driver Assist. And you can actually order it as well with blind spot detection on the side. So, But wait, what's, that, what, what's the short word for that? Bliss? No. V-A-D-A, -A, the VADA. VADA. Because everybody talks about VADA. Okay. So the Volvo Active Driver Assist gives you a couple options. The first is an adaptive cruise control like you've probably seen in some of the newer pickups are coming out with it. What's nice about it is it's adjustable. So say, for example, you're running bobtailing or empty, um, you can actually set that gap to be very small. So that way you can ride closer to the people in front of you. You don't have to worry about that big, long, safe stopping distance you would normally with mm -hmm. a large trailer behind you. But when you're actually hooked up, you can set that gap bigger. And what it'll do is it uses a radar and camera system to detect the vehicle in front of you. And it won't get thrown off by snow or by a tumbleweed going by. It needs to detect a large metal presence. Okay. And it'll slow you down to match their speed. But it is so accurate that when you pull out to the passing lane to pass, it realizes you're not in that lane anymore and it'll speed you right back up. So it helps give you that safe following distance. And if for some reason you weren't paying attention and that person in front of you slams on their brakes, it can actually activate the brakes for you once it realizes you've passed the threshold where you mm -hmm. can't react in time. Mm -hmm. So one more step to help you avoid that accident. Okay, and you, you had, you've always preached that we have to have two things with that. We've got to have the adjustable VADA, yes. adjustable adaptive cruise. Yes. That's an option. Yep. And we also have to make sure that we can control the volume. The system originally only came on a high setting and it was very loud and very startling when it would kick in. You want to order the truck with the optional adjustable volume and that's a feature we always put in our designs. Um, the other thing I'd like to talk about is the right hand blind spot detection. Because you're in such a large truck and it sits so much higher, a small car can ride right beside the truck further back and you won't even know it's there. So that blind spot detection system is very important. It'll let you know when it senses you drifting out of your lane or putting on your signal light that there is somebody in that spot okay. and you don't want to merge over. Okay, you've also learned from yes. Volvo, very senior Volvo engineers about some something we don't recommend including on the truck. We actually found through our own testing and putting in our own trucks, we also have a system called the lane keep system that will beep and let you know when you're about to drift out of your lane. Although this may be good for practicing a new commercial driver to make sure he's driving mm -hmm. safe, it tends to kick in a lot and we found our customers just did not want that system after they'd used it for a little while. Okay, okay. Have we exhausted that topic? I think we got it. I think we're safe. Okay, our next topic, stand by. There's more videos. Uh, we're going to talk about transmissions. Let's talk about transmissions. Okay, hang on.